New at 11, a new set of gun laws are now in effect throughout the capital city. Last year, Columbus City Council proposed laws that would restrict everyday citizens from carrying large magazines and also crack down on buying and selling guns. Tonight, 10 TV's Richard Solomon is here. Richard, you spoke with commu community activists today about this. Well, yeah, Amy, the community activists that I spoke with tell me this is an example of what common sense gun laws look like. But most importantly, they're hoping this will keep people safe in the streets of Columbus. So we just got to get a better grip on it this year. For Lennon community activist Derek Russell, his mission hasn't changed. We've been reckless with the guns. Uh, when things like that happen, it should be about a change. What he's realized, it's going to take more than just boots on the ground efforts to bring a stop to gun violence in the city. But now, help he's been asking for. It's most definitely a good thing because, hey, man, we now they can get people to think and be more responsible. New gun law restrictions proposed by Columbus City Council are in effect after a judge denied the state's attempt at blocking the measures. It prohibits everyday people from having large capacity magazines of 30 or more rounds. It also cracks down on people who store firearms where kids could get access to them, as well as sell a gun to someone who is prohibited from owning one. And not only is this good in the streets of Linden. How critical is this measure um, when you're talking about gun reform within the city of Columbus? But also in the Mount Vernon neighborhood. It's definitely needed in, in Columbus. Um, and I think that that can definitely reduce um, some of the violence by understanding, you know, you don't have to use it right away. Activist Al Edmondson says he hopes more people will think twice before making a potential life-changing decision. Yes, I believe it's a step in the right track in Franklin County. And um, it's something that can probably be used in other jurisdictions as well. And next, both men tell me they're wanting to see more proper gun education throughout the city. Back to you.